everyone. Myself, I am Uma and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I'm a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer and currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone, welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will be seeing one case study. Okay, this is the real time case study asked in an interview. So let's quickly go through this case study. What exactly it is? So here in this case study, we have two tables, table A and table B. Table A is having employee information with six records and table B is having employee information with four records. So now we have to return a table with only those records which are present in table A but not present in table B by excluding the common records. So this is the case study given in the interview and these are the tables, two tables, table A and table C. Let's see what is the data present in table A and table B. So this is my A table. Here we have employees, six employees we have Anand, Vinod, Vikas, Anup, Mahesh and Santosh and in information related to these six employees. Now let's see what is table B. Remember this data, okay? One to six employees, these are the names. Remember this. Now let's go to table B. In table B, if we see, we do have four employees, one to four, Anand, Vinod, Vikas and Anu. And their information, these employee information. If you observe carefully, all these four records with the this employee information which is already present in table A. See the same four records are already there in table A with additional two employees that is Mahesh and Santosh. These two are not common other than this the first four records are common in both table A and table B. So our requirement is also that only. So we need to exclude these common records and only return the table which are present in table A. So our final report final table should have the information which will show only those records only those two records which are in table a but not in table b that is mahesh and santosh these two employee information should be our resultant table so now start analyzing okay so this is the requirement when they gave this requirement the first step you have done is going through the data going through these two tables and understanding the data the second step which has to come to your mind is when you are dealing with the tables and if you are seeing the common columns then you have to think about merge merge is nothing but joins uh, similar to joins in sql where we are combining uh, one or more tables based on the common column. So let's see how we can merge these tables and uh, show the resultant table. Okay. So to do perform this merge queries where we have to do, we have to do that in Power Query Editor. So let's go to this transform data. When you click on this transform data, you will be going to the Power Query Editor. So this is our Power Query Editor and here we have this merge queries option. So select this table and go to merge queries. So here we have two merge queries and merge queries as new. When we uh, click on merge queries, the resultant will be applied on the same table which is selected here. When you click on merge queries as new, New, the resultant will be uh, applied or the resultant will be given in the new table along with this table a and table b will uh, it will create one more new table so let me take a, a merge queries as new select this one so automatically first table it is showing table a and top five records it is showing now let me select the table b as well so if we recall our requirement what exactly it is we need to get the records from table a which is not present in table b we have to exclude the common records common records and we should give the records from table a so let's see now which kind of join we have to perform so this is the main important point okay if you are not selecting the kind of proper uh, join kind then you will not get the correct results so let's see which join we can achieve we can select 
first one is left outer so what this left outer join will do it will return all the records from first table from along with the matching from second this will be the first table and this is the second table it will return all from first all information it will return but i don't need all right i only need those two employees who are not present in table b so this left outer join i cannot use this is this will not fulfill my requirement so i will exclude this one. Let's see the second one, right outer join. What this will do? It will return all the records from second table, means this table be matching from first based on the matching records. So it will return everything from second, but I don't need this, right? I need the common records from this table A, which is not present in table B. So this right outer join also, in this case, it will not help me. So I will not select this as well. Full outer means all rows from both the tables no this is also not fulfilling my requirement let's take inner inner will give only matching records means first four employee information i will get anand vinod vikas and anup information but that is not my requirement so i cannot go with inner as well next if you see left anti join so left anti what it will do it will written only the rows which are there in the first table only rows which are there in the first table but it is not present in second so that means we will get the mahesh and santosh employee information so select this left anti and then so you have to select this common record as well here from both the tables what is the common column employee id so i will select this based on this common column you join these two tables and apply what kind of join left anti join and click on ok so now the new table is formed and i will rename this as table c if you carefully observe this table we have got what is required employee number 5 mahesh and employee number 6 santosh so this is what we wanted right so these employees are not common in both the tables they are only present in table a and c these they are present in table a but they are not present in table b so our requirement also to display only this employee information and now we have successfully achieved this use case so i'll click on close and apply so fine this is what we have implemented and we will show this to the interview panel but they will not be happy with this okay fine you have achieved this using joins joins is nothing but merge queries in power query editor why don't you uh, do this in DAX? implement the same scenario using DAX. so they will even though you show the result and they may come up with some cross question or they may ask you additional question so how can you implement the same thing using dax function let's see now how we will do how we can perform that so select this table so table c is nothing but using power query editor we have implemented now we will implement using dax so select this table and click on new table because we want to return a new table right in new table we want to return the records which are present in table a and not present in table b so now i will give this table as table d and here i am gonna use one function called accept see this function accept so what this function will do accept function this will return the rows of left side table which do not appear in right side table so i will be using this function now accept function in this function it will return the rows of left side table which do not appear in right side table so here what is the left table table a just we need to pass the table names that's it this is the function except is the function and here you can clearly read what this function will do return the rows of left side table which do not appear in the right side table this is what we want to achieve right so use this function and just pass the table names table a and table b these are the two tables right table a and b so we are passing those two tables here and just click on enter now let's see what is there in this table d see if i select this table same thing we got this is the function i have applied dax function and here we got the results so these are the employees who are present in table a these two are the employees who are present in table a and not present in table b rest four of the employees are 
Anand, Vinod, Vikas and Anum, they are present in both the tables. Table A also they are present and they are present in table B also. But only these two are the unique records which are there only in table A but not in table B. So table C is something where we have achieved this result using Power Query Editor and table D is something which we have achieved using DAX function except function. So this is how you can analyze the use case and start implementing. If you feel that there are still so many ways to achieve this use case, then please do comment in the comment session. Like what are the different other ways? We have seen two ways right, to achieve this use case. What are the other ways? You can comment in the comment box. And uh, so finally, these are uh, some more questions you can expect from the interview panel with respect to this use case. So we have also seen, right, what is merge queries, merge queries, merge queries as new, both we have seen. This is similar to joins only, similar to joins in SQL, when you want to join two or more tables based on the common column. And we have also seen the types of joins also, right, inner, outer, left outer, inner, uh, right outer and um, anti joins, everything we have seen. Types of joins also we have seen, merge queries we have seen, merge queries as new we have seen and uh, types of joins we have seen and what is this function except DAX function will do. So these are also some of the topics which are covered as part of this case study. So stay tuned for more such case studies. We will be posting some more case studies uh, which are asked in real time interviews. And um, please do like, share and subscribe to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel for more such informative videos. Thank you.